everyone. Welcome back to Danielle's Day 4. Sorry for wearing the same outfit. This is the same day as <laughs> I'm filming this right after I did my haul. So I decided to go ahead and kind of play around with my little chalkboard. And as you guys know, this one right here, um, this one came from Hobby Lobby in the, uh, oh, in the wedding stuff, the His and Her studio. It was $19.99 and I probably got it for 50% off. But I don't even know if you guys could see that. But <laughs> anyway, this right here is permanently on there. It came on there. And then I always change out my little saying. So I wanted to kind of show you guys how I do that and try to play around and make a little cute Easter saying. Not quite what I'm sure what I want to say yet, but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to put you guys down here. We're going to clean this up and we'll get started on something new. Okay, I kind of got a little bit of a glare off this light up here. But basically, I have just a wet washcloth, and I'm just going to take and wipe it off like that. And try to scrub as much of it off as I can. And then, magic eraser. Wet it down, and this will take the majority of the rest of your chalk off. These work really well for cleaning your chalkboards. So you might want to kind of scrub on it a little bit and make sure that you get all of it off. Like that. But this has been the best thing that I have found. And some of them, um, if they're really hard to get off, you can take a little bit of fingernail polish remover. But with doing that, it does take your black off of your chalkboard, so you gotta be really careful. So, we're gonna wipe that off one more time and kinda get all the white residue off. And then I'm gonna take my dry towel and I'm just gonna kinda dry it off. So I don't want my board to be wet when I start writing on it again. So, we'll let that dry off a little bit and I keep my little washcloth here because if I mess up then I can always write then and it'll come right back off fairly simple but as you can tell it still has just a little bit of the wording where you can kind of see but once I put my writing on it you're not going to be able to tell so I want to make sure that this is dry so this is what we have so I'm going to start with my chalk marker and kind of need a little, we'll make sure that my chalk marker's wet and ready to go. So I think I just wanted to say Happy Easter. Oh, I had started and it didn't even start recording. <laughs> okay, so I have my H. We're going to do Happy Easter. So I'm going to come in with my A like that. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker in my curve, right there, and up for my P. Hayes are looking a little wonky. So I'm going to go back and fix these. Yeah. I'm not liking that pee. Okay, what do I got? a little thicker 
right here. And we'll come down this way and we'll make this a little bit bigger. Easter. Let me see. I'm going to do my B this way. I think I want my B to be kind of like that. I'm going to thicken that line up a little bit. And Oops, sorry. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to come back in here. And I'm going to thicken this right here. Try not to get my hand in it. I had a lot of coffee today, too, so I'm shaking really bad. <laughs> Trying to do this. So. Basically, I'm just kind of coloring in and thickening that, thickening that up a little bit. So we have our B there. We're going to come down here. I'm going to do it on this one too. And this one, because my original line was too far this way, when I made it thicker, I thickened it to this side of it. So that my bottom part was a little bit more even with my top. So that it looks right. So, I'm looking here, and then I'm gonna do thinking I want my A up here, do my A like that, bring that down. <laughs> my my a little went a little kind of kooky so here is my ass and typically when I do this I have a picture of what I want and then I can look at the picture and make sure that my letters are looking right. And right now I don't have one, so I'm just kind of freehanding this right here. So I'm going to do my T like that. Let's make that a little bit brighter. I could use a thicker marker or like a calligraphy marker, but it's just easier for me this way. So, we'll have our, our T right there. And then we'll go into our E like that.
Happy Easter. <laughs> it's not great. It's not perfect. My letters are a little kind of wonky here and there. I might go back in and do a little something. It needs a little... It needs a little something. Maybe like a little egg right there or something. Maybe we can do a little Easter egg. Let's see if we can do a little egg and kind of not mess it up real bad. Uh -huh. Kind of straighten up some of these lines. Y'all, I am no artist for sure. I struggle with jaw. <laughs> with drawing and straight lines and things like that, but let's just do a little something like that. A little Easter egg. We'll do a couple little dots like that. We'll do another little Line like that. Let's make this a little bit thicker. Let's do the polka dots. <clears throat> on this side right there and um, what should we do down here at the bottom let's do little lines crazy looking little Easter egg. <laughs> eh, I'll probably change it. But anyway, so that's how I do my little signs. I don't know. I kind of like it. I might need to do something different with the egg. And I have colored markers. Maybe I'll do colored or just regular chalk mark or not the chalk markers, but regular chalk and colors on an egg or something and kind of go in with some color. I don't know. We'll see. But that's how I do my little chalkboard. <laughs> and like I said, you can get these like this. I got a hold of it from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know, this has still got plastic on it. But these are a lot of fun to do as well. And then you can always just set them in a little uh, plate stand and stand them up. And these are just a tad bit smaller than a five by seven picture frame. And I've actually took these before and use sticky dots and sticky dotted them to the glass on my picture frame and then you know you can do something around your frame as well if, if you like but anyway these are a great little option for cheap and expensive little chalk boards and they work really well so here's my happy easter <laughs> and that is all i have for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this and get out your chalk markers and play around. There's all kinds of um, alphabets and different letter styles and things like that on Pinterest. I'm kind of going blurry. I'm sorry. On Pinterest, um, all kinds of cute little sayings and things like that if you will, just want to look through. And like I said, a lot of times I will look at something and then, you know, just kind of do it myself. But that way I have something to kind of refer back to as far as like the shape of my letters and things like that. This one, I just kind of did freehand. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, there's all kinds of different little ideas and stuff out there. So get out your chalk markers and your little pieces of chalk and have a good time with it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Bye.